Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and here it is, Firefox 40. This is the new browser from Mozilla. It is in a version that is really specifically made for Windows 10 with an improved um, UI and um, many new interesting functions that it actually adds to Windows 10 if you are interested in using Firefox. Now Mozilla really really took it hard uh, when Windows 10 was released because it noticed that Microsoft just pushed Microsoft Edge browser and did not leave any space for anybody else and uh, they were a little mad but they were still working on a version of Firefox that would be released for Windows 10 and it arrived today on August the 12th. Now they need to do to do a lot of work because Firefox w was once almost the top browser being used. It beat most other browsers and at some point it lost market share and as of the latest numbers which were I think is March or April of this year Firefox is now only 12 percent of all the people using a computer on the internet Firefox is only 12 percent of the market share that's not a lot the big winner right now it seems to be Google Chrome very popular uh, Internet Explorer is still popular f because for a lot of people uh, it's just there and um, they don't understand why they should get anything else but uh, Firefox for Windows 10 is interesting new look new UI so uh, I'll post the link to the Firefox website if you want to download it for Windows 10 first thing the famous Mozilla Firefox icon and a brand new UI the first thing that you'll want to do and that's what's interesting here is on Firefox 39 it was working in Windows 10 but it was not optimized for Windows 10 so it's kind of complicated to put it as a default if you didn't know where to go now it's interesting because you can click use Firefox on my default browser and it opens the settings menu all you have to do is go into web browser and click and choose Firefox to make it its default and there you go you've got Firefox as a default still has all the possi possibilities of Firefox add-ons as you see here at the bottom but something changed in the add-ons because there were a lot of bad extensions a lot of bad add-ons the problem that Firefox faced for a long time is it was often um, full of malware because all these add-ons would actually go and attach themselves in the browser now they've actually done a new thing every add-on needs to have a signature a digital signature that Mozilla will actually uh, give them to make sure that the add-ons are okay and uh, this will of course make m this browser much much more secure basically so it's very interesting to see this um, apart from that another interesting feature is that you can actually and that will be exploring in future videos uh, if you choose Mozilla as your default browser you can actually have Cortana search the web uh, you know what using Firefox default so if the default search in um, Mozilla Firefox is for example I think by default is Yahoo in the United States um, Google in other markets it depends where you are uh, that will be what Cortana will use instead of Bing and that is a very interesting feature that actually makes me want to think that I can maybe try Firefox and uh, see for myself so um, revamped UI lots of options as you see here uh, and the general options you got the general you still have uh, search default here is Google in the United States it might be um, Yahoo but you can change it I believe and what's very interesting is that the search engine as you see here use this search engine for searches from Windows this is very interesting because Cortana will now use in the search uh, results that come from Google because of this and it will be very very interesting to see um, of course the same 
content information application uh, privacy pop-up blockers um, all sorts of DRM content stuff there's some privacy tools uh, security tabs also uh, syncing if you op create an account with Firefox it will sync across your devices all the settings um, the uh, uh, bookmarks and so on and of course advanced settings for the people that want to tweak a little more into their web browser uh, from my usage that I've done today it seems to be very fast um, I've not compared it to any other browser but uh, it did give me the impression that they um, really made it better because the last versions of Firefox I thought were kind of really really slow uh, well here we are at a browser that's quite nice and it's uh, very very fast uh, when you click options and go at different websites so I think it could be a very interesting browser and I'll be comparing that of course that's for sure so uh, Firefox 40 why not go and get it um, it's available today August 12th the download uh, link is available in the description below my video so you can actually see it so why not get the famous Firefox browser for Windows 10 if you don't like Microsoft Edge it's lacking in different uh, options that you might want to use uh, including for example a lot of people have been using ad blocks um, well all this is available here and uh, everything is seems pretty nice no crashes nothing wrong I've had pretty good experience today with Firefox 40 if you enjoy my videos want to subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if any comments questions anything you want to know anything you want to see please ask away I will gladly do videos if you have suggestions and hopefully I can help you also if you have problems so thank you for watching and hope to see you soon